Jimmy Zacharias grew up in Rosenort, broke his uncle's heart in every rule. He was a big, big boy with a healthy taste for whiskey, who spent more time in court than Sunday school. His temper and his strength long made him a local legend. Best idea was just to let him be. And the town was shocked when word went round that he'd been born again. A revival in the Morris EMC. They all gathered at the river to baptize big old Whiskey Jim. While his body was immersed in that dark and dirty water, his soul was being washed in the blood. It was quite a sight to see frail old tiny Pastor Isaac, three-piece suit and gumbo to his waist. With Jim at six foot four and a good 280-something, in a robe of white and a smile upon his face. Oh, the elders were so proud, they had finally caught a real one. They arranged this special service just for him. He requested an immersion, just like Jesus in the Jordan. And no one thought to ask if he could swim. They all gathered at the river to baptize big old Whiskey Jim. While his body was immersed in that dark and dirty water, his soul was being washed in the blood. And he came up in the name of the Father. And he came up in the name of the Son. But the preacher could not hold it in the name of the Spirit. And he sank into that red river mud. Pastor, he went frantic when he came up empty-handed And already half the choir joined the search They found a purse, two mountain bikes, and a missing snowmobile While Jim kept right on drifting from the church By Wednesday, Whiskey Jim had been officially deceased And the wheels of this debate began to roll Fundamental truth inside Acts 2 verse 38 And the fate of Whiskey Jim's immortal soul Because he came up in the name of the Father And he came up in the name of the Son But the preacher could not hold it in the name of the Spirit And he sank into that red river mud the Bible, she too can keep her secrets in the dark. So it wasn't until spring she finally gave up Jimmy's body in some underbrush outside Kildonan Park. And in Rosen Art, the flock ate raisin buns and Bothwell cheese, and they laid the body in a churchyard grave. Two weeks to the day, all the elders they did meet And they voted for the one that Jim was saved 